What's going on everyone? I'm back. We're gonna do a shop tour and a project tour. So pulled a few things in the shop, started working on them. You already know one of them, a little bit of another one, but there's two more you guys haven't met yet. Down, 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 down. Turn it up. Before we go on the tour real quick, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel so far. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button, you know, down below. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you'll love the content coming up. Got a lot more of it coming up soon. So let's take a shop tour. Here's a shop, everyone. So today I'm gonna show you four, four out of my, four, four out of seven. <laughs> Four out of the seven projects. You already know one of them. You guys all know Stuart Little. So let's take a look around. He's uh, filthy right now. It's been windy out here. So the car is kind of dirty. Happy little car. Happy, happy, happy little car. So this is the next project you guys have seen on the channel. It, it looks awful. Yes. It didn't look like that last time you saw it. I have been diagnosing why it's been running bad and I believe it's a fuel starvation problem. I think my fuel filter inside the tank is completely clogged up. So parts are on order to change that and hopefully they'll be in tomorrow. So maybe I'll be make making a video about that tomorrow. But this is my 1997 Suzuki TL1000S and the next project this is my 1992 Lexus LS 400. The car is actually in really, really good shape. I've had it parked for a long time because it was leaking water. Couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Finally pulled in a shop. I got tired of waiting to finish up stuff in the shop. So I'm going to pop the hood. I'll show you what's going on. Oh, it's heavy. Where I got the engine torn down, the water pump is leaking. <sighs> oh, mosquitoes. Sorry. Water pump's leaking out of the weep hole. So, water pump is bad. So, I've already got the engine halfway torn down, order a new water pump set up. So, that is on the way. And, we're going to go ahead and shut the hood. <laughs> Sorry about all the weird camera angles. But this, this is metal for the shop I just picked up recently. But this is a $300 car I picked up. It actually runs pretty good. The interior looks really good. I mean, it's really dirty right now, but the inside is actually, it's a little messy, but I just gotta wipe it down and do a few things. And it's actually a nice little car. The only thing that was weird when I got the car was there was no steering wheel when I got the car. Previous owner took it. So I got a Toyota Corolla steering wheel. Bolts right on. Looks a little funny, but it works. And more ripped seats. You know I love cars with ripped seats. But fun little backstory on this car, because I know you're wondering, hey Steve, why are those two different colors? So we'll walk around the other side. That's just a table of tools I make for working on the car. This poor car was a guy's daily driver and he bought a, what is called a Celsius, which is this car in Japan, but right-hand drive. He bought one that was wrecked on the passenger side. So what'd he do? He took this car that was all pearl white, all original, beautiful looking car, and he cut the front end off, right in front of the shock towers forward, cut it all off, and just parked it, and just left it. So, you know me, I look at old Toyotas and Lexus like people look at puppies and babies. I just, I see them and I go, ooh, I want one. <laughs> I love the project, so there we go. There's one for you guys. That'll be coming up. I think I got parts coming in this week. And then we have 
my longest project I've had for ever. This is my 1986 Toyota Corolla. It's an SR5 hatchback, or you might know it better as an AE86. I'm not going to show you the inside of the car because it was actually storage for a while. Well, you can, yeah, you can see inside. But it does have a roll cage I made and some bracing. I've seen welded the frame or pieces inside the car. The car does have a Ford 8.8 .8 Ford Explorer rear end. And the engine out of one of these. So this little Corolla has a 4 liter V8. Not currently. It's not in the car. I'll pop the hood and show you it's a complete wreck. But there is literally nothing in there. <laughs> so wiring, I got a painless wire harness for the whole car. Ah, close that down. This is a huge project I've had for a long time, but I've got some really cool parts for the engine that make this to make this thing really simple. So hopefully that comes up soon. Or at least hopefully I get some time soon. But first, it will be this. And this. <laughs> so let me know, you put in the comments, you guys, what do you think? I should work on this one first? Or that one? Or that one again? That one actually does need a little work. Or do I work on this? And I have come up with names for some of these. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is Phoenix. I gave the car this name because I've had the car for, God, almost 10 years now. And I bought it. I bought this car from a farmer. He actually used to use it. He'd pop the trunk and put hay bales in the back and run around on his farm. And I saw him at, outside on the street with it and begged him. I traded a Toyota pickup I had. That was my daily driver for it made the guy trade me <laughs> it was hilarious so but everyone that knows me the car has been off the road for f over five years now i just i haven't had anywhere to work on it which is why this entire shop this entire thing i've built is for that car yes i built a gigantic garage for what most of you would probably consider a 500 hundred dollar car I got problems, yes. You can, yeah. <laughs> yep. But, so that is Phoenix. This, the TL project that caught fire and I've been rebuilding it, I'm calling that Matchstick. <laughs> Someone put in the comments something along that lines and I thought it was really funny. So this is Matchstick. And now, I need your help. What do you guys think I should call this Lexus? The front end's been ripped off of it and it was just thrown away. So I'm bringing it back. Make it actually, I'm going to make it into a nice daily driver. And you guys already know Stuart Little. So if you're still watching, thanks a lot. I got tons of projects going on. Hopefully I'll be working on that tomorrow. And that. All the parts are showing up at the same time for that. I don't know. So, honestly, I'll probably work on the car real quick because hopefully it shouldn't take that long, but maybe the bike will be quicker. I don't know. Well, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.